All right, what is going on, everybody? First store of the day is a Walgreens, and right off the back, what do we got here? We find McFarlane Red Hood, locked up, of course. I don't know why. I guess some people are stealing figures here. Um, these jacks, uh, J.I. Joe toys, pretty nice. Uh, decent detail for the scale. And clearance, check it out, right off the back. Those Overwatch figures are pretty decent, I have to say. Um, pretty good for what they are. And bam, found a Men in Black. Um, I already have one of these. I bought another one just because. And then another Men in Black back there. Um, those are really nice figures. Um, super nice figures for what they are. Again, 8 bucks. And this Dolores Abernathy had to buy her to complete the set. Super nice figure as well. And then, of course, the... Uh, I forgot her name. But that one um, was a must because, again, I had to complete the set. And we make our way over to the rest of the clearance. And I don't know if you remember from my last video, but I was telling you about these uh, Zoteki figures. And bam, they're all here. The entire set. I already have the Chase. And I already have the other Grimlock figure. And bam, I'm just grabbing them all right here. I think they were under 5 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. I have the entire set now. And, well, it only took me about, I don't know, 20 Walgreens to find them all. <laughs> well, I mean, they're all here, but some locations have more than others. But this one just happened to have the majority of them. And, yeah, the really nice figures, good detail. Definitely inspired by the 80s cartoon, uh, very much so. Uh, that is the, the real influence there. Details decent on them. No articulation, but they are really nice. And they do uh, form together to make a nice diorama. That is Starscream. Um, I have the the chase of that one. There is that's the main chase for the series. All right, this is my first target of the day. Just came from Walgreens, actually a couple of Walgreens. After I found that huge uh, um, missing part of the Transformers collection, so let us see what we have here. All right, so here we are at Target. This is a really nice Target in the northern suburb of Chicago. Really nice. Again, um, since I've last been here, there hasn't been much of a major restock. Um, most of the figures have just kind of been replenished. But you got to really pick through everything to really kind of see what's been kind of put back after the, uh, the night had ended for the previous shift. So sometimes you can luck up and find some things that you just didn't come across because they were, you know, strewn over the store. Um, they did replenish those core lines. I really like those, those Leica figures. Um, I do want to get one very lifelike um, in terms of just how accurate they are to the source material of the film. Uh, that Batgirl, uh, eh, honestly, they could have done a lot better job. I mean, there's no paint, literally no paint where there should be uh, on the figure card versus um, the actual figure. Had to grab these. I don't have any. Uh, the NECA end cap, here we go. Um, pretty barren. Nothing really exceptional here. Um, those Bob Ross figures are still there. Um, the whole set's there, actually. I think they're pretty cool. Nice little caricature of Bob Ross. Uh, what a great guy. Um, Legos, another Lego aisle. Uh, and now toys. Now this particular toy aisle is the NECA section here, uh, which... I don't think a lot of people know this is even over here because it's kind of off to the side. Um, not much here again. Um, same as before. Kind of a picked over uh, holothon stuff. Um, very common stuff. Um, yeah, not really anything you know worth uh, mentioning. I just was trying to get through it uh, to see what I could see. I think that Gremlins two figure is going to be there for quite some time. Is at a hundred bucks. It's just kind of steep. I mean, who wants a Howie Mandel signature? And lo and behold, I'm checking under <laughs> these um, counters because, you know, after that Target visit, you never know. And actually, I think I did find something under here, but I don't think it was worth our time. So, let's see what else we got. Um, again, I don't believe that they were stocked. There are McFarlane figures here. Or if they did, I can't, couldn't tell. Uh, yeah, again, these are just some model kits, wrestling figures, which are, again, always nice. I think uh, Mattel does a great job with the uh, 
sculpts for their wrestlers. Excellent. Some of the best detail. Uh, I still think that that uh, John Cena Peacemaker McFarlane figure pales in comparison to the likeness of what Mattel was able to achieve. Um, I don't know why, but they just, I guess maybe had a bigger budget for that particular mold. Um, yeah. Let's see what else we got. We got those Marvel Legends figures. We got those three and three quarters GI Joes, the D, uh, DKR Superman. I just picked that up the other day. Um, really excited to a review on that. That's coming soon. I got the whole set. Uh, check out the Instagram. I have a picture up. It looks like just so nice, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, yeah. So yeah. Again, just more duplicates. Carrie Kelly, Robin like that figure. The box is a lot lighter than the other um, build the fig boxes just because the figure is so much smaller. Um, and then of course you got the uh, gold label Batman hazmat suits which seem to be very common. It's just such a very common figure but it's a really nice figure, a real standout I think in my opinion. So as we make our way I believe to the other side we have the uh, Legends of the, oh, I'm sorry, Masters of the Universe, not Legends, Masters of the Universe figures. Um, pretty decent, I would say for a kid, the articulation range is pretty good, not much detail. It's a, you know, more so a cartoon, very, very cartoon focused line, um, very minimalist detail. But for a kid, uh, you know, and for maybe an adult, the nostalgia is definitely on overload. I didn't grow up with Masters of the Universe, but I know that it holds a place in many, um, uh, many many people's hearts um, just not mine <laughs> all right let's see and now we are at Best Buy this is a decent Best Buy I think they just recently got a restock um, as you can see we have the Predator Jungle Hunter really nice the Arnold uh, Predator <laughs> uh, I really kinda wish that uh, John Claude would have stuck around in that movie um, too bad he got kicked off <laughs> let's see oh. Yeah, that Friday, the 13th part 5, that's a pretty good figure. And then I do want this figure as well, this NECA figure. I mean, the detail on their facial sculpts, honestly, for the price point, is incredible. What they're able to achieve, the detail, especially with that Ash from Evil Dead line. Um, I mean, just down to the scars on his face. Just the, the tiniest detail at that scale is incredible. Um, I think... Best Buy recently had a sale on these figures, but it ended. I mean, that Shazam was like eight bucks the other day. I picked one up. Um, yeah, this Naked figure is pretty good too. I didn't really care too much for the Halloween Kills movie, to be honest with you. I felt like it was just getting good when it ended. Um, hopefully, the third movie kind of redeems itself. Let's see what else we got here. Honestly, the store is pretty picked over. This one, again, this is in northern suburb of Chicago. Um, I made my way out here first. All right, I believe, again, same store. Oh, I, actually, this might be a different store. I kind of lost track. Uh, Grand, oh, the, the Moth Tarkin figures, <laughs> the Eternals figures. I mean, they're everywhere. No one's buying these. I mean, they're going to be super clearance. I'm waiting for them to go to, like, $7 before I pick them up. Um, this Chucky figure, my girl was like, do not bring that home. <laughs> But it was really nice. I was really kind of tempted. Um, really nice figure. Again, uh, you have the uh, Fantastic Four kind of older themed uh, figures. The Shriek. That Shriek was like eight bucks again the other day. And we have here. It's not Jungle Hunter. Okay, it's the from the Predator Predator movie, the Fugitive Predator. Again, that movie. Uh, bad taste. I picked this up the other day. I am so excited to open it. I haven't opened it yet, but it is a beautiful figure. That light up mask is just everything. I'm going to do some photo photography, uh, photo photography, some figure photography with that one. Um, again, here's the ash. I mean, this, this figure is so good. They did. They just knocked that out of the park with the evil dead for NECA. They, I don't know who did the sculpts on those, but they did an incredible job. And The Conjuring 2, The Crooked Man, yes. This figure is so creepy. It reminds me of something that Guillermo del Toro would create. Really creepy figure. The box is really light too because the figure is so thin. But the detail is great and the accessories are nice. 
Um, again, I think I'm just going over this aisle, just combing through to make sure I catch everything. Let's see, and I believe, yeah, I believe I'm just combing over here. Let's see what we have, and then, yeah, these Halo figures were really nice, uh, the scale. Honestly, I think it's like a trend, these 12 inch figures. McFarland's doing them too. Really nice. I think they were like 50 bucks, I think. Pretty good detail. The camera couldn't really pick up too much through the box, honestly. I wanted to kind of get in and see if there was more uh, I could see, but not really. Um, the Lori Strode, yeah, the Lori Strode Halloween figure. That one is super nice. The likeness is uncanny. It's absolutely great. Just found this at a random Walgreens. I was actually headed over to a toy shop today to pick one of these up and I found it brand new. <laughs> what a find. That thing's probably only 20 bucks too. I don't think they charge more for their Build-A-Figs here. J. Jonah. A bunch of... Check that out. Shriek. Some of the other figures I have here. Picked all these up today, as you know. They have a teddy flood, I'm all over it. Hello. Oh. Help, sir? oh, thank you, I'm good. You're fine? Yes. Okay. I found him. All right, so we are at a toy store in Chicago called Quake, and it is quite the toy store. This place, you could spend a couple of lifetimes in here and probably not come across everything. <laughs> they are loaded to the gills with everything. I mean, ranging all the way back to the, to the mid-80s, all the way to present. I mean, I think I spent an hour and a half here just... I mean, it's, it would take you a long time to comb through everything. Just, I mean, whatever you're looking for, they're going to have at least something in relation to it. Um, this store actually had the Art of the Crime Batgirl that I was going to pick up. Um, the owner was nice enough to hold it for me, but uh, I ended up telling him I found it somewhere cheaper, and he just said, you know, good for you. So I still bought, I still supported the business, though, and I did end up finding the alternate... Um, the alternate uh, Sean Murphy, White Knight Batman here, as well as the Last Knight on Earth Batman, um, which were great finds. I have been looking for them for some time for a uh, for a reasonable price. Um, yeah, this place is just like a time machine. They have an entire section uh, here, episode like episode one or episode two figures um, from Star Wars. They have a whole section of those figures. Um, they even have just uh, old, like, manga-based uh, figures uh, from Dark Horse. Really nice um, manga figures that you probably would never see anywhere else. Um, except maybe, what, a FYE, maybe 10 years, 10 or 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah, here they are. Yeah, this is pretty nice snake eyes. This is not the one that's based on the movie, which I have yet to see, and it will probably be a while before I do. Yeah, I mean, l these racks are so dense. These peg hooks have, there's no real order to it. It's just, um, you got to have to dig through a lot of it just to see what's back there. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to like give you guys a good look of the things that are behind the peg hooks, but it's so dense, it's not like I can really push much aside to show you. This is a store that you really kind of have to go to to see uh, for yourself if, if there's something specific you're looking for. Um, absolutely great selection, uh, ranging from, again, Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, TV shows. I even saw some old uh, 
McFarlane X-File figures from the X-File movie, from the first movie. I mean, I really do think those uh, original McFarlane figures from back in the day, the detail on those still stands true to this day. The articulation maybe not, but the detail on those is still stand out. The paint on those is exceptional. Uh, even to this day, a lot of those older figures from maybe the late 90s to early 2000s, um, really just beautiful figures that still hold up. There it is. Yes, you can bet. <laughs> you can bet I picked that one up. I have been looking for that one for a reasonable price. I think I picked it up for 20 bucks. Just sitting back there. Love Sean Murphy's work. Okay, so this is today's haul. Check it out. We have White Knight, basically Sean Murphy Batgirl. <laughs> I've been looking for this one for a long time. Finally found it. Got the alternate color scheme for the White Knight Batman. 20 bucks. Shout out to Quake. They really hooked me up with this one. And we also have the last... Man on Earth, I believe. Batman. Was looking for this one for a while. Also a Capullo uh, inspired sculpt. Love Greg Capullo, one of my favorites. Um, super stoked, stoked about that one, glad I found that one. And of course, I had to grab the Goliath NECA. I had been, I mean, it's just everywhere in the stores, pretty much. And I've been looking at it for weeks and I was like, all right, okay, finally, I'm gonna get it. So I got it. Um, grab some uh, figure stands for my NECA figures because I don't have any I uh, just started collecting NECA, so that's why. Um, so, and then also I was able to locate more of these Westworld figures. They're like under $8. Well, I managed to get them for under $8. Bucks. Um, and they are on clearance. And they're really good figures. I mean, they're really nice. Um, I actually managed to find a Dr. Robert Ford figure, finally. This, I've been to 20 Walgreens in like the last two weeks or so, maybe more. I don't even know. But I managed to find him, and he was the only one out of all the stores, which is crazy. Um, bought another Man in Black, finally got the alternate Dolores, and then the Clementine Penny Feather got her to complete the set, only missing Bernard. And then finally, oh, and then the new Clone Wars figures, these are really nice. I found this one. Um, they also had a Clone Trooper, um, but I just had to grab this one because it looked pretty unique. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I might keep this one. I'm not sure yet, but I might keep this one. Really nice. Um, I do like the three and three quarter scale figures. I used to buy a lot of the old Marvel uh, figures that line they did some years ago that had like the, like the really nice range of articulation. I wish they didn't stop doing those. Really nice. And finally, we have the Zoteki Transformers Diorama. I found all of them. Um, this is after like, going to, again, multiple Walgreens. Um, found them all. Now, not only do I have them all, bam, but I also have the non-Chase variant. Oh, I do have the Chase variant of, which figure is this? Thundercracker, which is actually in place of Starscream. So now I have them all. I have the entire set, which is I mean, this is like one of the first times I actually ever completed an entire set of something, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, so that was today's haul. I mean, check it out. Um, please let me know what I can do to improve these videos. Let me know what you guys like. Let me know what you don't like. Um, and I'm again, I'm just super excited to start this journey of collecting and just getting in touch with the fans and just getting in touch with other people and like-minded collectors. Yeah, see you guys later.